morning again. Just giving you an update on the school food project because that's been something that's in the forefront for Lowndes County Health Department. We have gotten um, started offering the flu vaccine to the um, students at each of the both school systems. Um, we're having a positive turnout. One of the things that I would like to emphasize is that this year we're giving flu mist. So we're giving about 80 to 90 percent flu mist. The only reason you will not get or a child will not get flu mist is because of their health disparity or contraindicated or if the parents specifically say, um, I would prefer my child receiving an injectable. Now the difference in the flu mist is it's a uh, live virus and the injectable is an inactivated virus. So, but what we're noticing is that many of the students were already doing the flu mist, so their parents are comfortable with that process. We started last Thursday. Um, we were averaging about three to four schools every Thursday. The two high schools, we're going to bump them up because we got calls uh, where parents were saying, well, we just want to go ahead and get our children uh, vaccinated with the vaccine as soon as possible versus waiting to December. So we're going to try to bump them up. So now we've got it in November, but we're going to try to squeeze them also into October so we can get them in just as everybody else. One of the things that we are doing that's a little bit different is we're providing the um, vaccine for the school that's scheduled for the week. We give it to the faculty on Tuesday. So then we're able to talk to them and then I do a walkthrough to see in regards to logistics, where will we be? The whole goal is to provide this service within a two hour time frame so that it doesn't take away from any of the academia time that is allotted for that day. Um, so far it's been successful, but we did have a glitch in one school, which of course we would have one school then. Um, we forgot to prepare for pictures and something else that took place in addition to what we were doing. So at the, the end of the Thursday session, we have something called Lessons Learned. And we try to go back through to see what things that we could do differently to ensure that it runs even smoothly for the next session. So we try to stay on top of preventing any uh, glitches as much as possible. Variables that we can't control, that's understandable. One of the things that we're having um, difficulty with family members understanding is no mean no. I did promise that if a child did not want that flu vaccine, whether it was nasal or injectable, even the parents said yes, we will not give it to them because we tried that when we did the H1N1 and it was reported that we were a little bit too aggressive. So, and it interrupted the school time because the child continued to um, be upset. So no mean no and we respect that and so we try to um, get the parents to understand that this is just an opportunity that we are facilitating additional to the fact that you can't go to your private position and get this service but we wanted to provide it here at the school system the goal and the target is to um, prevent as much lost time or absenteeism due to the flu now there might be other variables that cause absenteeism but hopefully with the flu we're trying to keep our children vaccinated and caught up. 